Good morning, happy Wednesday. I'm getting ready to paint. Um, I did post it in my story that I was painting today, but um, didn't put it in my feed, I forgot. Good morning, Carrie. Hi, Silva. Good morning, everyone. I was just deciding what I wanted to paint this morning. Um, yeah, I think either zinnias or I painted yesterday. I painted some cone flowers and I have one with a bee on top. That's kind of cool So um, good morning, Susie. All right, I'm gonna turn this around Hi, Diane <clears throat> So should I do that one? Oops, or or that one Thank you What do you think I'm kind of leaning towards that one? Those were flowers that my mother-in-law bought at market on Saturday. They're pretty too. Hi, Ellen. <clears throat> so here I am still. I have no idea. I think I'm going, I think I'm gonna do, um, I think I'm gonna do this one. Does that sound good? What are you looking for? I'm just gonna close the drawer. You can. husband's home here painting the hallway today. Is it good? I think so. <clears throat> I think that was very colorful and I love it. There's a little bee on there. Okay. Good. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Oh, on my iPad, I use an app called Grid. It's it's the grid with a, a um, number sign behind it. That's what the app's called. And it's super easy. And actually, I oh, I can show you on here if you want to see. So this is the app. And I can, I go up here and I choose a photo. Um, let me find one that doesn't have like that. Oh, there we ha had one on it. Well, anyway, no, wait. let me show you another one. Um, probably a lot of them have it on. Okay, so see it comes up with the grid already on it. And hi, Sachi. You can always change how many rows right here. You can change the colors and stuff too. I never do that. But then all you do is hold your finger on it and say save grid. And then it goes right into your photos. So you go back to your photos. And that's the most recent one with the grid on it. And it's that easy. Good morning, Sandy. Hi, Donna. Okay, is that good? All right. So I painted cone flowers yesterday and it was really fun. I guess they're also called echinacea. I love the, you're welcome. I love the pinks and the oranges. Oops, my coffee's in the way here. So how's everyone today? Is anyone getting ready to go on vacation? Hi Dee, how are you? Hi, Jackie from Michigan. Hot, it is hot. It's hot here too. I mowed yesterday, it was hot. Um. And before yet, I wanted to say that um, I have a few more spots left in my workshop that's in New Hope in the fall. So if anybody's thinking about going, I only have a few spots left. So, um, And Dee, did you get my email about that yesterday? Fort Lauderdale. Oh, that sounds like fun. I've never been there. That used to be a place that people went like in college, but I never went. Or it's fun. Hi, Anita. Family reunion, that's fun. 
fun. So I'm getting ready to go to Rehoboth for my vacation. But I'm also doing, I probably already told you this, doing that Rehoboth Outdoor Art Show the week that at the end of my vacation. So I have to pack for both. It's going to be a little, little crazy. So I've been painting to make sure I have enough paintings for that because it's two weekends in a row. Part of the scary thing about doing art shows is having enough. Like if you sell a couple big paintings, you know, I don't, I don't have that many to, um, you know, if I sell a lot to be able to replace them and then be ready for other art shows. And I also, um, I don't know if you guys are on my email list or not, but I have had made um, an, a uh, PDF of my favorite oil paint colors. And if any of you didn't already get it or want it, um, you can get that through the link in my bio here on Instagram. Kim, I guess that is a good problem to have. Sometimes it's a little scary, but you're right. It could be worse. Let's go. Indian yellow, Vasari Indian yellow is just such an amazing color. Did you find going from small format, format to large difficult? Um, I do. Um, I think my biggest challenge with doing that is um, time. Because, you know, I'm used to sitting down and pretty much finishing a painting in one sitting. And when I do large paintings, I don't have enough time to do that. So the paint dries. Then <clears throat> it was just kind of a whole different learning process. I still haven't, I have a big one over here that I'm working on. <clears throat> I'm sure you've seen it, but I still haven't quite finished. And then this is kind of a medium sized one that I did for the art show. That's actually the entrance to my favorite beach in Rehoboth. I have those two larger ones that I work on kind of in between all the other stuff. Um. Oh, I was going to work on the B there. <clears throat> yeah, so I've been going to Rehoboth <clears throat> ever since I was... My mom passed away when I was in seventh grade, and... I think it was maybe the year after that my dad started running a house in Rehoboth every year. So it's been my favorite vacation place for a very long time. And um, a friend of ours had a beach house there for a couple of summers, so my kids took art classes at the Art League down there, and I always kind of wished I could be part of that and maybe do the outdoor art show someday. And See where I'm doing it, so I'm excited about that. Hit, hitting one of those random goals that you have for your entire life. I hope it goes well. I'm sure it'll be hot, but that's okay. That needs to be a little more brown, I think. <clears throat> So when I take photos, I order two rosemary long hand oil clips. Oh, yay, Jackie, they're my favorite. I need some new ones. Oh, thank you, D. Thanks, Anita. I am excited about it. I need to be more excited than apprehensive, right? So the last day I'm on vacation, we'll go and set up. And then, um, it's darker. 
and then I'll stay there beyond our vacation to do the first day of the art show and then go back down there um, the following weekend and staying with a friend. That. They also have, um, if you, artists can stay with people who have houses there, they like host them, which sounds really cool, but I didn't know what it would be like, so I didn't do it this year, but I might do it a different year. It kind of sounds fun. Put some greens in here. You know, when I was photographing this, the bee just sat down right there. It was perfect timing. I had one sit on to a butterfly. I have that to paint too. Hopefully I'll get a lot of things to paint when I'm at the beach. Usually when I'm away like that, I always hope to spend some time just wandering around finding inspiration. While it's still, you know, nice weather. Because then once once winter gets here, then I feel like I didn't take enough photos to get me, get me through, but I don't know if I'll ever think I have enough photos. So this is a little challenging. I did it yesterday on the other one. I took it with my um, <clears throat> depth of field, my, uh, folk, I can't even remember what it's called right now. So the background's very out of focus. Oh, thank you. So I have to remember, like the things in the background that are far away and out of focus, I need to keep them um, ha having soft edges. And then the things that are in the foreground have harder edges. That's partly what makes things look near and far. I'm learning that too about um, landscapes right now, making things look near and far. I was thinking I would take my art supplies with me on vacation, but I'm not so sure if it's a good idea or a bad idea. <clears throat> do you guys do artwork when you're away on vacation? Or do you leave everything home and take a break? What are your inspirations? Oh, what did Nellie? Let me see what did she say. What are your inspirations when you get artist block? Okay. Um, mm, mm. I don't know if I really get artist's block in the traditional sense because I just paint. So if I get up in the morning and I'm not feeling it and whatever, I still paint. I just get out my stuff and I paint. And I might do a few paintings that I don't share, that I don't love, but I still paint. So I guess it's not that kind of artist block. Sometimes I get artist block. Mine comes, I think, from feeling overwhelmed when I feel like I take on more than I can possibly get done. And it makes me feel anxious. Um, it doesn't block me from doing my art, but I think it undermines my confidence. In, in this journey of trying to be an artist while, you know, doing the rest of life and, um, you know, having another business, doing all of it, I, I get overwhelmed, I guess, more than I get artist block. <clears throat> yeah, I do think that even if you're not feeling inspired, if you just get up and paint anyway, you'll work through it. I think it's kind of part of the process and part of the magic, too. It's not always easy. Wait, someone else asked me. 
explain the process of photography used, please. Yes, this, my photography is almost always done with my camera just because it's so convenient. I was going to shoot photos the other day and I got out my, my you know, regular big camera and then I was like, mm, I didn't want to leave it in the car and the heat, you know, all those limitations because I was going to um, walk on a trail. So I took my phone and yeah, I just used my phone to take photos. Um, Wait, I'm thinking about the edge of this. Um, and really, it takes great photos. Um, when I'm taking photos, I really try to think about um, light as a big part of it. Like, I like light, so I was paying attention, you know, the, how the light's hitting this. There's light leaves, there's dark areas. You want to have a lot of... That's kind of, I think, what makes a painting magical is paying attention where light falls. So that's something that I look for when I'm out taking photos. Okay, that looks like fun. Is that good? Yeah, so rarely my real camera, but I do, I do love it. I need to get it out and use it more. I have really, the thing I have trouble photographing are my large paintings and having them look good. I never seem to find time to, oh, take photos, Nancy? Is that what you mean? I don't know. I always have my phone with me. I stop and take photos constantly. I think it drives my family crazy. Although now, like, my daughters will often take photos of things and send them to me because they think I'll love them, which is wonderful. Because you can never have enough reference. Um, yes, because it's a hobby I enjoy, and I only have time. I have time for it. In, oh, so you do do it create art on vacation. Yeah. Bring gouache and drawing tools. Oh, I haven't painted with gouache since I was in college. You know, I wonder if I still have my old gouache. Travel watercolor palette. I do have that. That's, that's what I should do. I think I did watercolor last year when I was there. Painting stuff with me. I know I really want to. But that's a whole nother thing to pack because I'll be packing my 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 van for an art show and I'll be packing my car for a vacation with you know two kids and we actually rent a house with friends and neighbors and um, there'll probably be like 12 of us so it's busy it's not quiet and relaxing but it's fun so I'm using these RNF pigment sticks that I love. <clears throat> Oops, I just got my gold. a little bit of that gold showing through in the B. Okay, oh, let me see. I'm sorry, I was missing questions. <clears throat> what kind of paint do you use? I mean, right now? I, well, you can get my list of all my favorite paints. It's, there's a link. Um, I use all different kinds. Over the years, I've played with lots of them, and I have favorites, but they're not the same brand. <clears throat> uh, when do you use palette knives? I usually just use palette knives to mix. I would love to learn a little bit more about painting with palette knives, but it's not something that I've um, really worked on learning yet. Oh, I'm using, <clears throat> someone asked me what I'm using now. They're called RNF pigment sticks. So this is oil, oil paint in a pigment. Uh, can you see that? It's 
oil paint and pigment, or <laughs> oil paint and stick one. Like here's a, a red one. So I have this um, thin of them here. Can you see it? So I'm just pulling them out. It just kind of loosens it up. It makes. Oh, I will make a list. Okay, that's a good idea. I don't have that on my list. I will do that and add it. <clears throat> that's a great idea. Yeah, I just finally got that back up there. I had it a long time ago and I redid it. Um, but I can add these to it. That's a great idea. And I did get a few new ones, um, Sennelier sticks, that I really should um, play with maybe next week. I'll remember to do that. Yeah, they're really fun, the pigment sticks. <clears throat> a little blue in there because I feel like it. Oops. And then they get a little film, so I have to clean that off before. It gets like a little coating on there. added that in. Sometimes I like to add a little bit of unexpected color. A great pillow. Anita, I always think that when it's at this stage, it would be neat um, as, as a print on a fabric. I love to do that someday, too. The really loose, looseness of it. <clears throat> All right, so that's my beginning. Um, yeah, I guess they're similar to oil, to um, <clears throat> pastels, but they're oily instead of dry and chalky. Other than that, they are. They're shit, I guess. Okay. Gosh. Oops. Sorry, hold on a minute. Oh, wait, I set that down. <clears throat> the little thing that I hooked this to my table doesn't really fit on this table, so <laughs> sorry. So when I move it around, the whole thing falls off. Okay. Now, these, all of these paints now have the, the uh, medium in them, so I clean these off. Some of them are from yesterday. Ray, I'll hold on to that. I might need it. Okay. So I need pinks and greens, oranges. This is <clears throat> Gamblin's Radiant Magenta. Oil pastels are made with mineral oil, which does not oxidize or dry. Oil sticks are made with linseed oils, which do dry. Oh, thank you. Oil pastels. And oil pastels, like I have the little skinny oil pastels that I wanted to play with, but yeah, I don't use them in my oil paint paintings. <clears throat> Hmm. Let's see. I don't think I put enough permanent permanent rose. It's such a great color. Gosh, I couldn't find it this morning and now I can't find it again. I'm not a very organized. 
this person. I have paints everywhere. I want to <clears throat> be nice to organize them all. Gosh, what did I do with that? Um, oh, the medium I use, I only use it on that first layer that I was just doing. I use this. It's called Zestit Clear Painting Medium. Alan said, can you make opaque transparent using medium? <clears throat> well, uh, uh, I don't know. That's a good question. I use transparent colors to, um, I use transparent colors with my, on my base layer. I mean, I guess if you put enough of that in a color, maybe it would become transparent. Now, I don't know how I lost that color, but we're just going to wing it here. <clears throat> It'll turn up. Browns and blues and blacks dry so much quickly than other colors do. <clears throat> no, I don't think I have enough of that. This is my brown over here and it's... <clears throat> I have this Charvin pink too, Carmen Lake. I'm gonna play with this one. That's nice. See, whoops, I'm gonna see what that looks like <clears throat> mixed with um, some Indian yellow. That's very pretty. That's definitely a color in there. So those are good. And I need some greens. It's hard. Let me get rid of that. <clears throat> Make room here. Okay. <clears throat> oh, this is sap green. brown in that too, warm it up. And I'm going to add in <clears throat> I have this, um, some yellow. That's nice. I need like to do a little bit of um, cobalt green. Oh, here's my permanent rose. I was hanging out with the Indian yellow. I need more of both of those. Here's my Indian yellow. <clears throat> so this is cobalt green. This is a completely different green, and I like it. It's just um, something different. I'm going to mix it with some um, lemon yellow. It's, can you... some ultramarine blue into that to darken it. And let me see, I'm gonna lighten it a little bit. 
but I don't want to add white to it because sometimes white makes it get a little chalky looking. So I'm going to add, see what it looks like. This is Gamblin Radiant Turquoise. Do a little bit of that. That's a cool color. <clears throat> All right. Oops, you didn't even see me mixing that. Sorry. Okay. Maybe I should. Yellow. <clears throat> Good morning, Lou. How are you? Oh, on your lunch break. Okay. Having something good for lunch. Okay. I think that's a fun set to begin with, right? Hi, Linda. How are you? All right. I'm going to go back up here. Let's back a little bit. Oops, this is going to fall off again. In the control room? What are you in the control room of? Well, free time in the control room. Okay. I have my coffee. I'm ready to dive in. I'm going to do a couple of dark areas first. And then I'm going to think about my B. So I have that since it's a focal point. I kind of have that where it belongs. Looks like we, um, <clears throat> I love watercolors. I do think my paintings at this stage do look like watercolor paintings. need a <clears throat> smaller brush for this little bee. I think I'm going to start there. <clears throat> Sometimes I'll work all the way around the focal point of the painting because I'm afraid of it. <laughs> it sounds crazy, but it's the truth. And, um, but like in this case, I think I need to start there. I think I have it in the wrong spot, don't I? I think. So there's a red. No, I think I'm okay. 
Sorry, that's taking me a lot of concentration. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. I stopped talking, didn't I? Does anybody have any questions? Um, this is the fun part. Like the, Once I <clears throat> have all the other parts down, now it's just... It's just um, having fun, kind of... Figuring out lights and darks. Hi, Sandra. Good morning. a little bit. <clears throat> Those soft um, colors here, you have to like kind of keep them loose and easy, not add too much detail so that they don't draw your eye too much. <clears throat> but put enough in that you know what it is. Thank <laughs> you. 
<clears throat> so I got a new, um, bought a new painting CD to watch. Well, it's not a CD, I downloaded it by Tina Garrett and it's painting um, a portrait. I mean, of all things, that's something I really don't ever do, but um, her technique looked really neat. So I'm looking forward, maybe that's something I can do while I'm on vacation is watch that. <clears throat> Some of paper towels. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't looking here. It's looking great. Um, Kim, I still have my little snowman painting I bought from you sitting out. He's so cute to put away. I can't wait to see what you do this year. I can't wait either. I love doing those snowmen. I think I will do another <gasps> snowman series. I really should be working on it now, but... Oh, the artist's name, Ellen, is Tina Garrett. <clears throat> but, yeah. But that would be... Hmm. way out of my uh, how I do things to actually be painting snowmen at this time of the year. But that was so much fun. Bless you. Saludos. I think that gives a hint back there of <clears throat> color. I need to do some more of these lights here. <clears throat> now I need to do some of the um these details. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, is that Spanish? I don't know what you're saying. Whoops. <clears throat> That's in shadow. I'm trying to pay attention to where some of the shadow areas. What do you think? Do you see any areas that I'm missing? I do try to fill in so I don't have a lot of little white spots showing through. I don't know why though, there's nothing wrong with them. Hi, Debbie, how are you? Is this Indie Week in Lancaster? Oh, thanks, Nancy. My friend Debbie, who popped in here, has an adorable store in downtown Lancaster, so if you are ever in Lancaster, you have to go see it. She had some of my artwork in there for a while. That's how I met her. <clears throat> but she just has the most fun stuff. And she creates a lot of it herself. Which is amazing. <clears throat> Hello to Michigan. So what do we think? Do I need any other <clears throat> highlights? Is to be popping off of there enough? Maybe I need um, a little definition underneath it. And then maybe some lighter.
there that helped that pop a little more <clears throat> Nancy I don't know Pro probably um, I think it's supposed to be in the 90s I love hot weather I mean I wouldn't like to not have air conditioning <clears throat> but I love to not be cold Soon enough, it'll be freezing outside all the time. Does that be coming off of there enough? What do you guys think? I think that's good. Now I'm at the point where I start to overwork it, and I don't want to do that. So... I'm gonna sign it. I always see some white down here. Go up here. And I think I may say it's finished. A hundred today. Oh, do you think so, Anita? Is it showing? So there you have it. Oh, fun. So, does anybody have any questions? Anything? Here's my, my palette. Oh, my large painting. Mm -hmm. Wait, let me turn this around. Kind of bad lighting. So this is my show you a little bit that's you know the lighting's not great that's that one I did a long time ago that I love here I'll take you around my house is messy because we're in the middle of um, getting ready for the art show and my husband's painting our hallway but here are two more of my landscapes two Two cute little ones. And then I did another donut <clears throat> and another painting. There's a little girl who lives down the street who plays, and this is all full of her stuff. She puts stickers all over that. <laughs> She's so cute. So, oh, and I have this great big one, too. This I have great big blueberries. I'm not sure it fits in the car. I have to try it. And here is the real life of my dining room studio. I'm going to have to go back down to my real studio soon. I'm just up here because I'm getting ready for for the art show and I was working like I can't work on these huge ones. I think that's 48 by 48. I'm still not finished with it and one day I'll get up and have an idea of something else I need to do to it but right now I'm not even sure what that is. So anyway, thanks for coming and watching me guys. <clears throat> I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I'll see you again next week. And I'll save this. Um, I'll do my best to say it. Sometimes I mess it up. But I'll try and save this and put it on YouTube. Thanks, Anita. Bye, Barbara. Oh, what brand is it? You can ask me that question later because I'm not sure what you mean. Thanks so much. Bye. Have a good day.